Mm -hmm. Now that is a face of perfection. Oh, someone's at the door. I'll be back in midnight. Oh, you are gorgeous. I'm coming, I'm coming. Dustin. Hey, Midnight, how are you? I'm doing fine. Mwah. Are you ready for dinner? Let me just run and grab my scarf. Okay, I'll wait for you in the car. Oh, I see you looking at me. But I can't talk now. I have a date with my fiance. Ooh. There. I look fabulous. Okay, my date's waiting. I'm going on a date and yes, I do look fabulous. All right, you all remember the plan? Yes, I remember. <gasps> what plan? We have to assassinate Midnight. She's caused Beast Island too much trouble. Oh yeah, that plan. Question. What, Smokey? Instead of just killing her, is there such thing as tickle torture to death? <sighs> Let's go. Tickle torture? <sighs> I hear it's a real thing down south. <laughs> okay, pull the rope now. <laughs> Why did I think that would work? I guess the rope trick didn't work. My turn. <laughs> Stop it, little kid. I'm not buying your cookies. Midnight, it's me, Smokey. I have a date, so leave me alone. Uh, thank you. Aw, babe, you got me flowers? Yeah. You're always so sweet. Mwah. Oh, Midnight, could you put your seatbelt on? Dustin, 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 Dustin. I am a secret agent. I don't wear seatbelts. Midnight, that's against the law. Shh, let's just enjoy our evening. Where are we going again? Dinner, remember? Now put your seatbelt on. <sighs> Bossy pants. Oh, great, they're driving away. What do we do now? I hope you two know how to sprint. Ugh, this job just keeps getting better and better. Finally, I'm so hungry. Oh, it's so manly when you slam the door. I love it. Um, what? Look, Rusty, I found their car. You found it? This is the best day ever. Come on. Why do we still have him around again? Beats me. Hey, Midnight, you wanna buy some straw? Hop in. Some straw? Rusty, go get her while her boyfriend's not looking. All right, I'm going and going. Oh, what the heck. Whee! Ugh, idiot. Sweetie, don't we have reservations? But I'm having so much fun. Oh, come on, I'm hungry. Cora was much better at the assassinating people. And who's Cora? She's that one who would walk in a room and give you the heebie jeebies. Pretty much. Ah, I feel like I'm being watched. All right, Smokey, your turn. <laughs> Let's go look at the decor. Oh, pretty. <laughs> Oh, he totally deserved that. 
Ah, so pretty. Reservations for Duke? Of course, sir. You're right here. Can I take your scarf? Yeah, thanks. Mm, such service. Keep the change. Oh, you are so romantic. Uh, there was no change. Did a signature of Yellow Lab and a signature Timberwolf come through here? Uh, sure did. We want a table as close to them as possible. Yeah, uh, okay. Aw, you must be the lovely couple's parents. And this must be your daughter, Virginia. Oh, how'd you know my name? Cut that out. Uh, we're just friends. Just so you know, you're the mother in the relationship. Uh, I am not. This is just what we needed. A night out together. Midnight, your eyes sparkle brighter than the stars. <laughs> Are you trying to make me blush in public? Naughty thing. I'm just complimenting you. Smokey, take this knife and go slash her throat. <laughs> you think that's a knife? <laughs> um, sir, you can't be walking around the restaurant with a fork. <laughs> uh, this is a knife. Um, no it's not. You clearly don't know what a knife looks like. But don't worry, I'm just gonna go slash her throat over there. I'm gonna go call the cops. No, no, you can't do that. <laughs> if you do that, my boss over there will get mad. Of course, he's not my real boss. My real boss is on a secret island up north. But you're not supposed to know that. I may need to slash your throat, too. <sighs> Smokey, get over here. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. He's special. Wait. I can tell. Don't have to take me away. <laughs> can I just say you are one heck of an idiot? Mommy, you'll flatter me. Stop. I'm not your mommy. Mommy, you're using your silly voice in public. Stop. Ah, your boogers are greener than the grass in the west meadow. What? I was hinting that you need to go get a napkin from the bathroom and pick your boogers. Okay, I'll be right back. I've been sitting here for 15 minutes in my glass, still not full of water. I'm talking to someone about this. <coughs> Why does she keep moving? Waiter! Oh, my shoe's untied. Wee! And your rope. Oh wait, I'm not wearing shoes. Is there a draft in here? I gotta go to the bathroom. Hello. Uh, what's up? <laughs> Seems like a nice guy. Walk over there and tell Midnight to come with you to the back alley. My legs are sore. Just do it. <sighs> All right, if my memory serves me correctly, she'll walk away as soon as I'm in her line of sight. Listen here, punk. You're gonna come with me behind the restaurant and I'm going to kill you and you are no longer going to be an issue for me and the rest of Beast Island. Otherwise, we will kill your boyfriend too. For goodness sake, say something, Midnight. <laughs> Titan Abbott, she's sleeping. Oh no, she's doing it again. Alone. You're not supposed to shake someone while they're on a date. Sorry. What took you so long? I've had enough of this. I'm bored. Let's go home. <gasps> Let me guess. You got mad, so you went and got a stick and wanted to beat them to death. Maybe. And knowing how annoying they are, they probably walked away the last second, didn't they? I'm surprised you can tell a normal person from an annoying one, Smokey. <laughs> I'm very observant that way. Come on, let's go back to the island. <laughs> observant? What?
Thanks for the great date, Dustin. Anything for you, sweetheart. Good night, babe. Good night. Let me guess. You failed. Why do you always assume we fail? Okay, maybe we failed. Why can't we just kill them? They weren't even trying. I'm gonna say something that may get me kicked off of Beast Island. I think we all just suck. <sighs> if any of you need me, I'll be in my room crying. Please don't need me.